Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina with Zarina's Guides and I'm bringing you another episode of What's Up in Upland. I'm also Blue Rain on Discord. If you want to look me up, do find me. So let's talk about the metaverse and what's going on. All right, so in Upland, they announced that football is coming to the largest metaverse map to the real world, which is Upland. Our first city from Portugal will be Porto, and you can see it up there. It looks pretty beautiful, actually, in that picture. I can't wait for it. But really, what's really awesome about this is the partnership. It says, we are excited to announce that the number one team in Portugal and the 2022 Primeira Liga champions, FC Porto, is coming to the Upland Metaverse. So this is really awesome. It says it's the first of its kind partnership, and that's awesome because Upland's great for doing things that are first. All right, look in here. It says FC Porto is the first European football club to enter into the metaverse with Upland Agreement. So this is really awesome, I think, because as you can see, Upland is seriously making partnerships across the world. And Portugal is going to be our next international place, it looks like, which is amazing. But we do have Rio as our first international destination. Everyone is excited about this. We have some information regarding Rio, which is... Sin fees are going to be 10, 50, and 20, which I think they say 10, 20, and 50. But regardless, it's going to be a treasure hunting tier 4 city. So those 10 fees, 10 sin fees, please do set your fees at 10 for us hunters. But if you're a newbie, go ahead and set yours at 50. It's going to have an airport, going to not have a train. And our collections, they're going to announce between 16 and 22 collections. What they did say is that all of the collections would be revealed once they are revealed after the, like a week after the city opens. So we'll know all the collections at that point. So the ones that will be already out and the ones that will be to come. So look for Rio July 25th for our stress test and then look for the actual full release of what they're going to open on the 26th. That's the 26th at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because they're giving the Brazilians a little bit of a reprieve and letting them wake up at 9 a.m. Um, the Americans are going to have to get up a little earlier for that day, but travel will be free. That's a really cool part of this is that travel will be free. And so people who are new, you guys can get there and not have to worry about like the sin fees or the visit, the airplane cost. All right. So what's also cool about this is that there's been a lot of like articles and headlines with Upland making the news with what it's doing in the metaverse. And one of those things is City of Rio de Janeiro will be reproduced in the metaverse and we'll have a Mangreira, <laughs> Mangreira? <laughs> a Mangreira? I don't know how to say that, but it's a Samba court. And what's really cool about this is you can see that it tells you right here in this article that Upland announces the arrival of Rio on its platform in addition to a partnership with Estaco Primeira de Mangreira. Sorry if I'm butchering this Portuguese. But this is the for the launch of the first Samba court, the first Samba court in the metaverse. So what does this mean, having a Samba court in the metaverse? I'm really curious what this partnership is going to look like. But if it's, you know, if it's anything like what I think, I think it's going to be amazing. So one thing I wanted to point out is that that school, it's up here where you see my little red arrow and the Marcana, Marsana, um, this particular stadium, this very famous soccer stadium, football stadium, is right over here. So, could be, this is the Santa, um, I believe the Santa um, Teresa neighborhood. And so, I'm not sure, how, but the Mangueta, Mangueta neighborhood is its own little neighborhood. Mangueta. Um, <laughs> anyways. So, we've also got Cintro as our stress test neighborhood. And I've just gone ahead and given you a little bit of a boundary outline to look at. I think it'll be important for people to realize what, you know, what area they want to research for the actual stress test. So do go in and figure out what streets you think will be actually worth grabbing that might be collected in, in this area. Maybe Sintro itself will be an actual collection. Maybe it won't. But go look and see what streets are, you know, pretty decent in this area that might be collections. I would also look, my personal, I'm like, if you can see this arrow, I will be looking to go near Saudi. I'm um, um, on this border looking for any properties I can get in here because I actually want to be next to Saudi. Um, I, I think it may be a collection area, and even if it's not, it's a really small neighborhood. So I want to get in there. As far as the travel costs, um, when it's not free, and what I think is when the terminals actually open, um, they may open prior to the free, free travel, and people may be able to pay to get there ahead of time. And if so, this is what you're looking at. But do do keep in mind that you have to go to an international airport. Those are LAX, 
um, we have our S A S F O O R D and then J F K. So I'll myself, I'll be heading to J F K because I'm in Rutherford, and so getting to Manhattan is my quickest route. But you can find out how to travel on Upland Guides um, Discord. He has a travel bot, so I would head over there and use that. Um, there's also a website you can find on Discord. People who give you websites to figure out how to travel. So once again, people join the Upland Discord. So another thing Upland announced is quality of life update. What that looks like is we've got a better search with our Google search now. A Google search is way, way better than what they're using. You can actually just enter in keywords now and pull up like destinations. For example, I put in Fifth Avenue and you can see Saks Fifth Avenue does pop up as one of the places. So this is a pretty cool thing because, you know, I think people were having some hard times before figuring out where some addresses were. So I'm hoping this update definitely improves the quality of life for us Uplanders. And you can use it right now to locate things in Brazil. I have tried it. You can put in Santa Teresa and it will pull up that neighborhood for you. So speaking of things going on in Upland and in Brazil, there's another partnership that I thought was very worth mentioning, which is this Flex Interativa, which I've been seeing this article and I mentioned it already in one of my other um, videos. But I wanted to pull it up again because I just think it's very worth noting because of what Flex is doing. So we have this, you can see here in the article, it says that um, Flex Interativa will be the arm of Upland basically to help expand its operations in Brazil. So let's take a look at what Flex is doing. And you can see they've got their own 3D immersive um, software stuff going on, which is really nice. You can see that their actual avatars have legs which is a one-up on Horizon Worlds because the avatars there don't have legs. So I would love to see what Upland's going to do with Flex Interativa. But, you know, honestly, I think just the fact that Upland continues to make the news shows you how good of an investment Upland probably is. So speaking of the news, Web3 brands join forces to create Open Metaverse Alliance. This was just July 22nd, and I think this is huge news. Why? Well, number one, it's great to know that these organizations that are a part of the blockchain and Web3 development are trying to actually work together so that people can link up and have, have their different metaverses be linked. So awesome. What I think is definitely amazing about this is that it says right here in the article, um, we have the... It says the, the OMA3, so that's our alliance name, right? This membership list reads like a who's who of Web3, including household names like Dapper Labs, Decentraland, The Sandbox, Upland, and <laughs> Animoco Brands. I just think it's awesome that right there, you can see Upland, again, always next to Decentraland and The Sandbox. But what is it? It's a freaking who's who of Web3. Upland is among the who's who people. Get involved with Upland. I cannot, like, I can't just emphasize it more. Just do it. Just get involved. So speaking of the metaverse and what's going on, more reasons to hop into whatever metaverse, but especially Upland while you can, is people are putting money out there. We already know that Meta's spending billions, but now we have Dubai. Dubai is spending billions, okay? They plan to invest four billion into the economy by 2027. That's huge. It says right now that, you know, they've announced they're gonna to look to use Metaverse to create 40,000 virtual jobs and add four billion to its economy over the next five years. So we also have some breaking news that I think is super important, which is the launch of Upland Lounge in Horizon World. So if you have an Oculus Quest, definitely jump into your VR world and go ahead to Horizon Worlds, which is a free app, and head to the Upland Lounge. This is where you can meet up with other Uplanders in VR. We're ready to go, guys. We are approaching the future. So come help us build. If you're interested in creating, hit us up. Hit up Friends Lands. Also, Friends Lands is another world in Horizon World, which is super amazing. So if you haven't been a friend, Lands, friend, like you're my friend, and Lands, L-A-N-D-S, Friend Lands, all one word, Head there too. But Friendlands, our guy on Discord, who's an Uplander, has created an amazing space for us Uplanders to chill in VR and go throw around some uppets. So please do chum, come, <laughs> chum, please do come drop in and play with us. All right, so here's for my speculations, guys. I'm not going to give you a whole de like detailed um, background on all these places. I'm just going to throw it out there. Do your own research. 
these are what I'm looking into. The streets, I think, are possible collections are Avenida Rio Blanco, Avenida Brazil, Avenida Rodriguez Alves, Avenida Atlantique, and Avenida Portugal. Um, the neighborhoods, Lapa, Copacabana, Empanema, Manguera, maybe? Urca, Saudi, Santa Teresa, Leblon, and Gavea. Um, as far as interesting finds, that Cinelandia was pretty cool, and that area around there I think might be awesome. There's definitely a lot of libraries around. So if you go look, even the one that they took off the list that's like going to be like a landmark, there's still a bunch more libraries. So not really sure, but Upland might do something weird there. There's a lot of museums. So I'm thinking there might be some rares that are museums um, or maybe some exclusives. Um, the Marcana or Marsana, I'm not sure if it's, I think it's Marsana, um, but whatever the case is, that particular, um, that school, maybe where it's, maybe the school itself might be an exclusive because we have that Samba school. Um, there's the Escaderia Celeron, those stairs, um, which are awesome. And also I noticed a bunch of president streets slash prime minister named streets in Cintro. So not sure, but maybe. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I will see you in Upland. Happy hunting.